accurate instructions are essential in the world of work. Instructions tell and frequently show how to do something. They indicate how to perform a specific task. Perhaps no other type of occupational writing demands more from the writer than instructions, because much is at stake for you and the reader. The reader has to understand what you write and be able to perform the steps. You cannot afford to be unclear, inaccurate, or incomplete. Instructions are significant for many reasons, including safety, efficiency, and convenience. To assess your audience needs, put yourself in the reader's position. In most instances, you will not be available for readers to ask you questions when they do not understand something. Consequently, they will have to try to rely only on your written instructions. Do not assume that your readers have performed the process before or understand what you do about that process. The more you know about your audience, the better your instructions will be. To determine your reader's needs, ask yourself the following questions. How and why will my readers use my instructions? What language skills do they possess? Is English their native language? How much do my readers already know about the product or service? How much background information will they need? What steps will likely cause readers trouble? What types of visuals do I need to supply? And how often will readers refer back to my instructions? To make sure your instructions are accurate and easy for your audience to perform, you must plan your steps, perform a trial run, write and test your draft, and revise and edit. Let's take a look. The writing process for instructions looks like this. Before writing, do some research to understand completely the process you are asking someone else to perform. Make sure you know the reason why you're doing something, the parts or tools required, the steps to follow to get the job done, the results of the job, and any potential risks or dangers. Do some background reading and talk or email colleagues who may understand the process or written similar instructions in the past. Following that planning stage, do a trial run. Actually perform the job yourself or with someone on your team. Go through a number of trials. Take notes as you go along and be sure to divide the job in simple, distinct steps that are easy for readers to follow. Don't give readers too much in any one step. Next, write and test your draft. Transform your notes into a draft, or a number of drafts, of instructions you want your readers to follow. Then conduct a usability test by asking individuals from the intended audience who have never performed the job to use your instructions to do it. Ask participants to read your instructions aloud and ask questions. Observe where they run into difficulty or test results to make sure that you enhance your written instructions. And finally, revise and edit. Based on your observations and feedback, revise your instructions to avoid missing steps, too many activities in one step, steps that are out of order, unclear or incomplete steps. Edit the final copy of instructions that you will give to your readers. Consider whether your instructions will be easier to accomplish if you included visuals. To write instructions that readers can understand and turn into effective action, observe the following guidelines. In writing your instructions, one, make sure verbs are in the present tense and imperative mood. that your instructions are clear using short sentences in the active voice. Three, that your instructions use precise terms for measurements, distances, and times. Four, your instructions include connective words as signposts. And our final guideline, number five, number each step when you present your instructions in a list. Writing instructions in review. Perhaps the most important piece of advice I can leave you with is this. Do not take anything for granted when you have to write a set of instructions or procedures. It is wrong and sometimes dangerous to assume that your readers have performed the procedure before. No one ever complained that a set of instructions was too clear or too easy to follow. Similarly, make sure that the procedures you may be called upon to write are easy to understand and follow.